Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. Today we have Lico 332 reconstruct itinerary. So this question is asked by uh, YT Fish. So I'm here to take a look at this question. Um, the question is saying, giving a list of airplane tickets represented by pairs of departure and arrival airports, farm and two. Reconstruct the itinerary in order. So all of the ticket belong to a man who departed from JFK. Thus, the itinerary must begin with JFK. So here is like uh, MUC airport to LHR. And then this is just from and to. And there's some condition in here if there are multiple valid uh, itineraries, you should return the itinerary that has some smallest uh, lexical order. So what that mean is if JFK is the starting point and it can go to LGA or LGB, this is two route and you should uh, always go to this one if both of them are valid. So this one is smaller than LGB. So it should output this route instead. And that's it for this question. And usually I look at this question, I will start with drawing a picture. So it will it'll be much easier to understand. So let's give me a second, I will draw it down. Um, in here for the first example, it's really straightforward. Now you can see MUC, you can go to LHR, which is here. But the persons always start with JFK. So now we can take a look at this one, JFK to MUC, JFK to MUC, fly to here. And from here, we have another uh, itinerary from uh, MUC to LHR. And then we fly to LHR. LHR, you have another plane go to SFO. And then from SFO, another ticket to J, uh, SJC. So this is the output. Let's see. So I just draw this three airport in for this example two. So now you see uh, JFK have a ticket to uh, SFO. This is directional, so we can draw a line like this. JFK also have a ticket to ATL. And SFO have a ticket to ATL. Let me see. Another one is ATL to JFK. And ATL to SFO. So now this is an example for uh, the second, two, second example. And you can see the guy have to start from JFK. So he can fly to SFO, fly down to ATL, and then uh, come to JFK, and from JFK back to ATL, and then go to end with SFO. This is one, and I will draw it like this. And the second one is here. So he can start up uh, JFK, go to ATL and go to go back to JFK and go to SFO and down up again, back to SFO. That's a second solution. But in here, the condition is we have to get the smallest uh, lexemo Lex lexical uh, order. So S, F, O, and ATL, uh, definitely two is smaller because this A is start first. So we this solution is the one that we're looking for. Go down, up, right, down, up. So um, this is the example two. 
So later in our uh, code, we can select um, going to the smaller row first, because we start with JFK, we can have two row, so we can determine which ones go first. So we can go to this uh, row because it's smaller in the lexical order first. So usually uh, when I see this directional uh, questions, we can imagine a, this is our degree. Like when you go out for next connection, JFK connected to SFO and connected to ATL, we can think about it's our degree. So we will use a map, hash map, take care of those out degree. So in JFK, so the out degree has ATL and SFO, but in here, this one will be a priority queue, PQ, that we will keep track of putting the smaller uh, order in the beginning. And here's the bigger order. So we can first put this um, into the stack and then we can start taking a look at the, the priority queue and start processing this ATL first. In here too, ATL will have different directional, which is the out degree SFO the same. So we will need this one uh, for the operation. So let's take a look at the code now. And for now, I will just keep this uh, drawing part right here and fill the code as we understand it now. And here we have a list of string. So we always take care of that first, which is output equal to. So we don't need to think about that one now. What we have is a map that keep track of a string on the left side and a pi or ready queue. It's a string priority queue. Uh, so now we have the empties map right now. And next step, we're gonna fill this up by having a for loop. Uh, we will take care of, it's kind of messy here. We get all the tickets. And oh, it's kind of messy here. Okay, I just moved this to some place down there. Um, we will have a priority queue. Already queue. E actually Q is equal to map dot get or D or ULT that ticket zero. And this one is tricky. Um get or default means that if map doesn't have if map have the string, which is JFK, and we'll get this map from them. I mean, get this priority queue from the map. If it's starting with uh, JFK and doesn't have JFKs in there, we will put the priority queue, new priority queue there in the map. So we have new priority queue string there. So this is um, the priority queue. Basically, we're getting the priority queue from the map if it doesn't have it, and we create one from uh, for the uh, JFK if it's empty. After you create one, and queue offer on ticket again one. So it's like, for example, if in here, JFK as FO, we get uh, JFK, it doesn't have it. We have a priority queue there. And we put this SFO into the priority queue. 
and the priority queue now have one SFO. After that, we'll put that priority queue back to the map. Put so that's how you updated the priority queue in the map. And after the whole ticket of the ticket, you should be able to see this map right here for this question. And this is the first part. So what is next? So next we'll have, uh, I think we can erase this right now. Um, let's draw another one. So we have a stack right now in here stack. So we want to start it with JFK because we have to. So now we have JFK and we have this map here. Um, we can take that JFK out and then bring, I mean, get the priority queue that they have in here, which is this one. And we can start checking uh, if the, uh, we will start putting this one in the priority queue, like ATL in the priority queue. Um, so after you go to ATL, the connection from JFK to ATL will be gone. So now this is no longer there. So now we process ATL. ATL will go back just like how you think about a question. You fly from JFK to ATL and then that ticket will be gone. So now we have ATL, we add ATL now. And then ATL will fly to the closest one, which is the smallest order one. Fly back to JFK, JFK. And then this connection will be gone. And then we have JFK and we'll put the SFO in there. And that will be the order of the flight and then until you loop through everything. And let me, hear. hopefully that is uh, intuitive enough, but it's, it's kind of messy in here. Uh, hopefully I will draw more uh, in here. Let me erase everything. And now I will type out the code and I will explain maybe later. Now we have a stack for storing the current location. We will have to have JFK first for the operation. So while uh, stack is not empty. And we will get JFK first, which is current one, current location equal to stack.peak. And after we know the current location, we'll get the priority queue, which is map dot get current um, priority queue. EQ is equal to map dot get current, which is current location. And then this priority queue is current locations out degree. So where they can go. So now we have to check if PQ, like the priority queue, that's no out degree, right? Or PQ dot size equal to as you, when you at the city have no out degree that nowhere to go, then output you add to the stack dot pop at that location, the current location there. That means you're really rich to the, the end point, right? And then else, like what we said, we'll push the current 
uh, see. So in here, if the priority queue is not empty or no, then that means they will get the closest, the smallest one, the smallest city they can fly to and fly to there. So that's what it means in here. So then they keep doing the while loop until the stack is empty. Then you will find out the um, order of it. So collection dot reverse. Now output can have all the order already, the flying order. Then uh, we can just reverse it. Why, why do we need to reverse? And I also have another example. Uh, give me a second. Uh, we'll draw it out in here. So if JFK is the starting CD, you can come to here, you can come to here, the CD, and this is a small CD, like a small order CD. And this one is a bigger one. And the bigger one have we come back to the JFK. So now in our logic, if JFK is here starting point, we'll go to left first because this left is smaller. And we find out, okay, left doesn't have any out degree. So we have output right here because we have an output uh, on the top here. So output is a list. So we put the small first because you can think about reversely because you know the answer going to big first and come back to JFK and go to small. So we're capturing the endpoint uh, first. Then that means that output will be in a reverse version. So now small is here. After small, and then you come back to JFK. JFK only have, because this connection is gone. So we have one more connection in here to go. And we'll pick big, hold on. So now we have to put the big JFK in the stack, currently in the stack. And we'll put big in the stack. So see if big has um, JFK. So after putting big in the stack and this connect connection is gone. Um, big is currently here and Bigs had one connection to JFK. Um, we'll put JFK here and then put big inside this. Oh, sorry, this is not, um, actually big is still here. And JFK is the one that will output because since big us connection is JFK. So put JFK in the stack right here. So stack currently have JFK, big JFK, and this connection is gone since it go back to JFK. So in the stack, they all empty. They're all, um, the priority queues all empty. So in the stack, we take out this first, JFK, and then big and then JFK. So this is one of the example. Now, uh, as what we think in JFK, right? We can go to the, and then we reverse it. Reverse it, become JFK, big, JFK, small. It's like JFK, big, JFK, small. And that's the order of this example. Hopefully that um, is a little bit more intuitive. And I just run through the wire loop right here. Uh, for me, it just take me a little bit while to explain it because it take a lot of time. But you can take some example and run through this and imagine it 
imagine uh, this process, and it will be the best way to understand this logic. So if you step, uh, let me see running, let's see running this code will have any error. Let me clear the drawing. Then run this code. Oh, box free. Okay, cool. And this is the question. Uh, if you still have question or doubt, please comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will see you in the next video. Bye.